You run down the dirt path, the thick air making it hard to catch your breath. You can feel the grit in between your teeth as you yell with your friends who live down the road. Mom wants you home by dinner with enough time to wash your face and hands. Your fingernails are black and your shoes are destroyed, but hey, this is home. The steel mill of Denora, Pennsylvania kept thousands of people on their feet, allowing the town to grow and prosper. The growth and popularity of industrialization brought many people from many different cultures and religions together to create the coming generations, who would live alongside the mill just as their parents did. The baby boom that occurred during the 1950s could be seen in Denora, with kids swarming the streets. It was common for families to consist of two to three kids, and sometimes even more, meaning children would have their own built-in playmates from the very beginning. But when away from home, the children would always have something fun to do. Sports were a major component in the children of Denora's lives. Teams were sponsored by the mill, churches, and the school alike. Kids had many options to choose from, including basketball and baseball, among others. Families often came together to pass the time with these activities while the man of the house worked in the mill. Sports weren't the only thing kids had to immerse themselves in. The Denora Steelworks Band, formed in 1912, gave children the opportunity to involve themselves with music. Parades were often held for the people of Denora, involving adults and their children alike. Palmer Park was also a popular destination for families to enjoy picnics together, as well as group activities and games. Football and baseball games would be held there frequently for those who worked in the steel mill and their children. Festivals occurred there, along with boy and girl scout camping and outings. This was a great place for kids to relax and run wild for a day. Unfortunately, the main pavilion perished in a fire on September 24, 1969, but the memories made there live on in the hearts of those who spent their summers there, feasting on watermelon and hamburgers while watching the baseball team take home another victory. Thanks to the enormous number of people that flocked in Honora, opportunities for a teenager looking for his first job were at a surplus. Gas stations, grocery stores, and even at one time, three movie theaters made Denora their home. Making only a dollar an hour may sound less than ideal by today's standards, but at the time, this could buy a few comic books or some candy for you and your friends. While Denora seemed like a happy place for kids to live on paper, the 1950s were a cruel and fearful place. The Cold War was at its peak, and those living in small-town America often worried about the possibility of nuclear warfare and the destruction of life as they knew it. Children of Denora in the 50s grew up with the trepidation that the United States' enemies would strike any day and destroy their town. While the mill resulted in a world of good, it also contained horrific working conditions and left many injured for life. Families could not guarantee they would see the father of the family walk through their front door again after he left for the day. Being surrounded by molten materials, noxious fumes, and extremely dangerous equipment left no room for error. One can only imagine the fear that the children of Denora felt when their father ran late in the evening. Denora, Pennsylvania steel mill is the reason the town was so successful in the 1950s and left a lasting impact on the youth that lived there during that time. From hitting that first home run to spending the weekends pumping gas for customers passing through, the children of Denora represent the youth of America in the 1950s. You sit in the back seat of your mother's car watching the houses shoot by. You know this road. You know this town like the back of your hand. The smoke bellows out of the pipes and into the gray sky. Mom looks back at you and smiles. Wave to daddy.